The rescue of passengers from the Georgette. The Georgette was steaming down the West Australian coast in December 1876. She was taking cargo and timber and passengers from Fremantle to Adelaide. She had called into Bunbury, then loaded timber at Bustleton. She rounded Cape Naturalist and was steaming down the coast just past Yellinger when her cargo shifted in her hold. The shifted load breached the hull. The ingress of water extinguished her boiler. The captain attempted to sail her to a safe bay, but she struck rocks at Redgate Beach. Sam Isaacs, an Aboriginal stockman, saw the stricken vessel from the nearby cliffs. He rushed to the family Bustle family homestead to summon help. Only 16-year-old Grace Bustle was able to assist. Both Sam and Grace rode their horses to Redgate Beach. Upon arrival, they saw many people still on board the ship, unable to get to shore. Sam and Grace charged into the surf on their horses. For hours they transferred people to safety, not stopping until all were rescued. News travelled around the world and Grace was hailed as Grace Dahlia of the West. She was given a silver medal by the Royal Humane Society. Sam was awarded a bronze medal. This seemed unjust and did not recognise Sam's role. He was later awarded 100 acres of land near Margaret River in recognition of his bravery. Gracetown and Lake Grace were named after Grace. Grace lived until she was 75. Sam tragically died in 1920 following a fall from his sulky. Isaac Rocks, where the Georgette went down, were named after Sam. I would like to thank my grandchildren for their assistance in producing some of the artwork and I would like to thank Fremantle Press for allowing me to use some graphics from their publication Sam, Grace and the Shipwreck which is available from Fremantle Press or all good bookstores.